If you could only give me one lower body lift that I could program into a football player's regimen, it would be the Bulgarian split squat. I've never experienced a greater lift with translation to the field than the Bulgarian split squat. You're getting that great stimulus to your glutes, hamstrings, and quads in one compound movement that you can still progressively overload, but it's a much more athletic context. Back leg elevated, you get a stretch in that back hip flexor. You, get, you can even get a little bit of a positive shin, shin angle, meaning getting your knee a little more forward, which simulates that sprinting position, that quad drive. It's a great movement to pro progress as well. You can do them body weight. You can do them with dumbbells. And as you get stronger and stronger and the dumbbells get harder to hold, you can progress into the barbell. Start loading the barbell up. You can even put the barbell on the front squat position, get even more of a quad drive. It's also a great litmus test tool to see if one leg feels stronger than the other, and you can make sure to balance that out. It's great unilateral strength balance. When I was playing football and regularly training this movement, I always felt better, my joints felt better. It felt like the muscles were taking on the shock as opposed to the joints or your spine or things that shouldn't be. Um, I felt just bouncier, uh, much better in the drive phase. The acceleration changing direction was crisper. I just had more bounce in my step. And what's better than that? Not only being healthy, but being explosive. Again, if you could only give me one lower body lift that I could program into a football player's regimen, it would be the Bulgarian split squat because it's easily scalable. You can still get great strength, muscle development, but it's the most transferable movement to the field in that sprinting stance that hip flexor back, that back leg elevated. It works so much, great range of motion. You can play with it by getting that front foot on a box and getting an even deeper stretch. Um, I can't say enough good stuff about it. Don't get me wrong, I love the squat. The back squat is a great, a great movement, but there is, in my experience, and in talking to and watching a lot of other football players around me, a point of diminishing returns where you keep loading that bar, loading that bar, loading that bar, you start getting stiff, um, guys on the field look like they lose a step, they're getting injured more, low back stuff would always start to creep in. You get to avoid all that with, with this movement. Every football player should do a split squat variation. This one is my favorite.